Hi, welcome to this week's Toop TV. We're out in front of the Adelaide Stock Exchange building and of course today we're checking up on the share market, talking to one of our experts, so stay tuned for that. We have some wonderful properties coming up on SA's Finest. We're visiting Stirling and Kensington Gardens. Find out the latest real estate news on our weekly market update and then check out our sold properties in the Going Going Gone segment. Of course, we're live and interactive as always, so send in your real estate questions now and we'll be answering them at the end of the show. Well, I did say it was the Adelaide Stock Exchange building. It certainly was in older days. It's now the Science Exchange building and uh, we did meet a lovely lady there who told us about some of the up and coming events there. So if you're looking for something to do over the month of June, certainly check it out. Um, I'm sure there's a, a bit of fun to be had there. Later, uh, we have an executive rental in Grange and now on our inside story, how the different segments of the market are performing currently. There's good news for those who own South Australia's finest homes, as over the past year, the top end of the market has been the strongest performer in the state. While all capital city dwelling values have decreased over the past year, according to RP data in the top 20% of Adelaide suburbs, prices have only declined by 4.6%. This is a smaller drop than the combined capital cities average, where prices in the premium sector have fallen by 5.7%. The difference in the changes in home values across the nation's top end properties has been attributed to the premium housing market being comparatively much more affordable in Adelaide than in other cities. In South Australia's middle market, prices have fallen by over 5% and dropped even further at the affordable end of the market. In fact, Adelaide's most affordable suburbs were among the weakest performers over the year nationally, where the only other sector which had a larger fall in values was Melbourne's premium housing market. This has been blamed on the state's capital having a greater occurrence of mortgage hardship in these areas, where homeowners have been forced to sell, driving down house prices. These results show how diverse the housing market is and that it's important to research the part of the market you're interested in if you're thinking of buying or selling.